that time again. Yarn braid time. Um, so at this point, all I had to do left is this section here. But uh, let me just show you my hair so far. And um, I have been braiding forever, it seems like. Uh, at this point, I want to say I've been braiding for about 17 hours. Um, not straight, pretty much straight. I did take a couple breaks, but um, yeah, about 17 hours. Uh, why is it taking me so long? Um, I did do them a little smaller. I think the part's a little bit smaller. And, um, you know, with cutting the yarn and um, burning the ends, it just takes a while. So, um, let me just show you. The last time I did them, I used the Karen Simply Soft. Uh, I got my yarn from Hancock Fabrics. However, they only had one thing of the Karen Simply Soft, and it's C A R O N Simply Soft. Um, they only had one thing of that. So, I had to get a different kind of yarn. So I know a lot of people use the Red Heart Super Saver, but I didn't like the Red Heart Super Saver. So um, I got the yarn that looked the closest to the Karen yarn, which they had, which was this. It's called Vanna's Choice. I guess that's like Vanna White. She has yarn now, game shows and yarn. I don't know, but um, it's called Vanna's Choice and um, it's 100% acrylic which is the most important thing because you don't want it to lock in your hair so make sure it's acrylic so this is the yarn that I'm using and to prepare my hair for the yarn braids I shampooed and conditioned with the Giovanni 50-50 um, clarifying and hydrating something or another some the Giovanni shampoo and then I did a deep condition using the Palmer's coconuts milk or coconut something and when I rinse that out I put in I used the shea butter leave-in which I haven't used since I was transitioning but I really like it because it actually left my hair really really soft I used that plus I used my own shea butter mixture and put that um, throughout my hair as well before I started braiding so my hair was really is really really moisturized because um, I want to make sure it is protected of course while I have this protective style in so I'm just going to show you one braid really quick and I know I already did a yarn braid tutorial um, probably about six months or more ago now but I just figured I since I was doing them I just hop on and show you guys how to do okay so I've already had some yarn pre-cut which is here and I've already um, pretty much doused it in the carefree curl the instant moisturizer because I don't want to put this dry ass yarn in my nice moisturized hair so I'm just going to take two pieces of yarn and I've already sectioned uh, the the braid out that I'm going to be braiding it's this piece right here um, so what I'm going to do is just loop them around each other make sure they're nice and even and then I'm going to begin braiding and I'm just going to grab it and make sure that my hair is the third piece Make sure it's nice and snug. And then just start braiding. Let's see what else is going on with these yarn braids. Hopefully I'll be done shortly. Because I'm tired of braiding and I have other things I need to do. Which is why um, I figured I would wait until spring break to braid because I knew it would be a time consuming. So this is how, this is, um, the hair is almost running out. So what I'm going to do is combine it in between two pieces of yarn. And that helps to disguise the hair um, so it doesn't stick out of the braid. 
and then just continue braiding as you would all the way down so I'm almost to the end where I want the braid to stop and then just keep braiding and it's about even with the rest of them I mean they're not perfect but um so what I do is take a string and then just tie it around and knot it pull it make sure it's nice and tight and then I snip the end of it off take my handy dandy lighter and just light the end you want to catch on fire like that but you know and um, then just roll it to make sure it's secured and bam there's my braid and um, I just have this this bit to do here and then I'll be done <sighs> so I'll be back to show you guys um it is March 17th today I actually finished last evening yesterday evening but um, I didn't show you guys last night the finished results so this is the finished product of all my hard work and hours and time this is my yarn braid and it's very full um, I tried my intention was to do them shorter this time than uh, the last time that I did them um, they are a little bit shorter, but they're still not that much shorter. Um, next time I do them, I think I'm going to do like a bob or something. But um, next time being who knows when, no time soon, because at this point I'm tired of braiding. Um, yes, it did take me a while to do these. I would say from start to finish with cutting the yarn, burning the yarn, um, probably took me close to 20 hours altogether um, to actually complete my hair um, because once I started I'm kind of like the per type of person where I just want to get it done with so I kind of I didn't work entirely through but I did take I took a couple breaks and I did take a nap but for the most part I kind of went straight through with the hair so took about 20 hours I would say to complete the braiding and um this is what I got and I love them of course um so yeah this is my yarn braids all done and I think they look really good um I do I was pretty pleased with the yarn that I used too I can kind of see my hair at the some of them but I like that yarn so oh and it took me I used, sorry guys, I used two full things of yarn, I used two of these and then I would say about one fourth maybe of another one, so two full things of these and then a fourth of another one, so that's it though and um, yeah, I really like it. So just let me know what you guys think. And if I can do yarn braids, so can you. Um, all right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Also, you know that I'll be doing some styles with these, so I'm going to do my best to um, upload some style videos for these as well. I do have some style videos on yarn braids already, so I'll either put a link somewhere in this video or you can check out some of my first videos that I did actually some of the, like the very first videos that I did on YouTube were on yard braids and some of the a couple of style videos and stuff on there so be sure to check that out and if I come up with any new styles which I'm sure I will I'll be sure to put those on here as well so um all right y'all so.